Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all and uh, today is January 4th and I pray that this year will be blessing for every one of you. Uh, today our topic is nothing new really, it's about the scam of Islam but you know we today we will cover uh, let us say uh, branches of the scam of Islam. You know we know that Muslims are allowed to practice taqiyya and taqiyya is one of the branches of lying which mean taqiyya means protection. So the Muslims in order to protect themselves from non-Muslims they are allowed to lie. Now if you think about it you will say to yourself you know what um, that's very normal to do to lie if somebody is threatening you. No 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 this is not what taqiyya is about. Protection is a protection of, you be, of your belief. So Muslim is allowed to lie to you in order to fool you regarding his belief not regarding him regarding his belief so taqiyya is a license and permission to lie about Islam I will start with this video in front of me and then we will go to other branches of lying and by the way this video I believe is very strong uh, uh, need, strongly needed and I, I ask you to download it and to share it around and let us see what this story in this video is about this is a, a Muslim cleric in his TV station and this is memory TV translating the, the text we give them a credit for that uh, speaking about a beautiful story which is lead into the conversion of a Jew into Islam but how the Muslim in this beautiful story as this sheikh he claimed it's beautiful how he was able to convert this Jew into Islam let us hear together بس بعد ما تصلى على النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كان في واحد مسلم بجوار واحد يهودي فالمسلم كان يرى من اليهودي ده يعني شيء من الطيبة ولو كانت بسيطة فكان نفسه بأي طريقة أنه هو يبتكر طريقة يخليه يسلم بها فرح كلمه وقال له يا فلان يعني أنا ليس لك حاجة في الإسلام أنت ما نفسكش تسلم قال والله ما يمنعني من الإسلام إلا أن يحب شرب خمر أنا فعلا نفسي أسلم من زمان بس أنا الحالة الوحيدة اللي منعاني إن أنا مود من خمر فالمسلم ابتقل له طريقة قال له خلاص أسلم واشرب الخمر براحتك طبعا المسلم مش قصده كده طبعا فقال له أسلم واشرب الخمر قال له خلاص ماشي فاليهودي قال أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمدا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال له المسلم الآن أصبحت مسلما فإن شربت الخمر طبقنا عليك حد الخمر وإن ارتدت عن دين الله قتلناك فثبت الرجل على دينه ولم يشرب الخمر أبدا <laughs> the Muslim, he told him, okay, you have a problem, you don't want to convert because we are not allowed in you to drink alcohol. Who said you cannot? Ask him and drink. The Jewish, he said, are you sure? He said, yeah. Became a Muslim and continue drinking. And then the guy said, okay, then there's no problem. I will say shahada. He said shahada. A second after he finished saying the shahada, he said, listen, listen, now you are a Muslim. If you don't obey Islam, we will beat the hell of you. And if you try to leave Islam, we will kill you. And he is saying that this is a beautiful story. That is the deception of Islam. And this is what we are talking about. Protecting Islam by spreading Islam. There's many ways to protect Islam. By lying about Islam. By lying about yourself. but about, By lying about the teaching of Muhammad. By lying about the teaching of the Quran. And by lying about what people say about Islam. And actually, this is what my topic today is about. You know, all of us, we know the Muslims, they say Islam is about peace, etc. But absolutely, this is false, you know. Uh, we, we, we can mention tons of stories. Even, even Muhammad, he never mentioned a good manner regarding normal behavior. As an example, Muhammad, he forbid Muslims even to be, to say shalom, to say uh, uh, salam to non-Muslims. If a Muslim, he see non-Muslim in the street, what he should do? Abu Hurairah reported that the Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, said, Do not give the people of the book the greeting first. Force them to the narrowest part of the road. This is a false translation, by the way. Muhammad is teaching the Muslims the manner of the street. And the manner of the street, if you see non-Muslims in the street, especially the Christian and the Jews, you spit in their face and you humiliate them. And you force them to walk in the sewage. The translation here is very false. Adyaqo tariq is the sewage. The street the street have a canal in the side of the road I'm talking about old days so the, the dirty water walk in that little 
a hole you know so what what Muhammad saying when you see a non-muslim in the street and those are from the Christian and the Jews you force them to walk in the sewage and you are not allowed to greet them with the granted of peace you don't say Shalom you don't say Salam you force them to walk in the sewage because the Quran says it clearly that you, you treat them with subdued and humiliation this is why if you read Ibn Kathir he said Paying jizya is a sign of disgrace and humiliation. Not as Muslims, they say to you that jizya is a tax, which is a big fat lie. The Quran says until they pay jizya and they are humiliated and subdued. So jizya plus being humiliated and being subdued, not only paying tax. This is not tax, my friend. This is a penalty and being humiliated. And Muhammad is teaching the Muslims how to treat people when they walk in the street. Then Muhammad, he says clearly, you know, there's tons of uh, teaching. Uh, uh, one of the hadith mentioned by his companions that Abu Hurairah, he said, about the verse in the Quran and the verse in chapter 3, verse number 10. This verse says, you know, uh, uh, you Muslims are the best of mankind. You know, when somebody speak about fascism, uh, do you know what fascism mean? Fascism, you, when you believe that you are the best and everybody have to die. Not only you are the best, no. Everybody else have to die or he have to be one of you. And this is exactly what Islam is about. It's a fascist religion. So what the Muslims believe that they are the best and they have a duty. Allah, he told them you are the best. And what is their duty? The best of mankind, and this is the mean of that verse supposedly, is... I'm not going to read the rest because the rest is not really part of the uh, of, of the book. The translation is false. If you read in the Arabic, it doesn't say that at all. So I will stop where the translation is stop, with where where the Arabic stop. This is what the book saying. The best for mankind are those who bring them with chains round their necks till they embrace Islam. So the duty of a Muslim, the fascist Muslim, is either you join the gang of Hitler or you will be killed. We are the best. And if you are not one of us, we will kill you. And Muhammad, he said it clearly in many places that Allah, he want the Muslims to kill everybody. Actually, uh, the Quran says it clearly that Allah, he will do genocide for those who they are, or Allah encourage genocide for those who don't want to believe in Muhammad. So actually this is uh, let us switch to Arabic. This is the cure teaching of Islam is to do genocide against non-Muslims. All right. No, it's not coming. Let us see. Uh, just to show you, here we go. Chapter 8, verse number 7, it says, وَيَقْطَعُ دَابِرَ الْكَافِرِينَ He will kill every individual of them. Not, none of them will, 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 will be located. None of them will still exist. None of them will survive. He will destroy all of them. He will cut the roots of the disbelievers. And this is the teaching of the Quran. It's a fascism, fascist religion. But the Muslims, they don't stop with the deception of saying Islam is peace and Islam is not, etc. No, they have many ways. We showed you in the in the video how the guy, he did lie to the Jew. And the Muslims are so happy about lying to the Jew so they can convert him to Islam. And after he convert, they face him with the truth. Now you are a Muslim, so here we go. This is the true Islam. Before, we lie to you so you can convert. Which means you will not know really the true Islam until you convert. And then they force Islam on you. And... I believe this is happening somewhere in the Middle East or somewhere where Muslims have authority. If this is happening in the West, they cannot force you really, you know, unless one day they became the majority and they take over the government and that will never happen. So as long as they are the minority, Muslims, they have different tone and different speech. When they are the majority, they will cut the roots of the disbelievers. This is the, this is the duty of every Muslim. But there is a different way the Muslims today trying to fool people you know uh, all of you remember I made a I made a book it's called uh, Quran and science and death and the purpose of that book it was not really to talk about science this is not really my topic uh, let us say it's not even my favorite topic uh, 
so why I made the book? Actually, the Muslims, they forced me to make this book. Because the Muslims, one of their games they play is to make you believe that Quran have a science, deception. So they made thousands and thousands of videos and websites about Quran and science. And because you don't speak Arabic, they can fool you. They change the mean of the translation to make it fit with science when it's not even, even close. When the fact is totally the opposite. So they forced me to make a book. That's why I'm saying they forced me. I was forced, you know, not because it's fun for me, but I was forced to make this book to refute their lies about science and the Quran. And actually, it's a very funny book. I encourage everybody to have it. And when I say funny, because it's funny, the Quran, what Muslims they claim to be science, it turned to be stupid. As an example, the Muslim they say to you that uh, uh, the Quran speak about the seven layers of the atmosphere. What is that? You read the verse, the verse speak about totally different and totally wrong. So you will never find people, they are willing to scam a lie as much as Muslims and the purpose is to deceive you and to convert you. And the video we showed you today is another, a, a clear proof that they are allowed and they are encouraged to lie so they can convert you to Islam. And this is why I say I was forced to write my books uh, you know, about Islam. Starting from the deception of Allah, going through the Quran and science, and then the translation, and soon we will have another one will be out. And actually by tomorrow we will have the Swedish uh, tra tra translation of the deception of Allah will be out. And the copy you see in front of you, this is the French translation of deception of Allah too. Uh, so we really need to open the eyes of everybody that Muslims are different. Muslims are people who are encouraged to lie. Lying is the core of Islam, the, the, the base of Islam. Don't think that those are religious people, which means they are decent. Islam is different. Islam is a cult coming from the devil. Today I will show you different lies Muslims they come with. All of us we know uh, a very famous name, his name is uh, George Bernard Shaw. George Bernard Shaw, Muslims they use, the Muslims they use anyone and in the names of anyone is famous and he is dead. Even sometimes, even that the one is not dead. They fabricate lies about them, but especially when they die. As an example, there's a guy, his name, uh, Captain, Co uh, uh, I forget his name, he's a French, Cousteau, I think Cousteau. Uh, he used to dive in the ocean and he used to watch his programs when I was a kid. And then the guy, he died, and then they said he converted to Islam after he died. But this guy, he never converted to Islam. He had nothing to do with Islam and fabrication, just to fool people and make them believe that, look, there is people are converting to Islam scientists. And the story of George Bernard Shaw is no different. Let me show you what the Muslims say, and they claim that George Bernard Shaw, he said about Islam. I have always held the religion of Muhammad in high estimation because of its wonderful vitality. It is the only religion which appears to me to possess that assimilating capacity to the changing phase of existence, which can make itself appeal to every age. I have studied him, the wonderful man and in my opinion far from being an antichrist, he must be called the savior of humanity. I believe that if a man like him were to assume the dictatorship of the modern world he would succeed in solving its problems in a way that would bring it the much needed peace and happiness. I have prophesied about the faith of Muhammad that it would be acceptable to the Europe of tomorrow as it is beginning to be acceptable to the Europe of today. And the quotation is from, a, from the book it's called The Genuine Islam Value Number 1, page number 8. Sir George Bernard Shaw in the Genuine Islam, Volume 1, Number 8, 1936. But there's no such a book. There's no such a book. You see, they not only, they have no shame. There's no such a book, it's called the Genuine Islam. Made by Bernard Shaw. Ever exist. Those people, they have no shame. They have no shame whatsoever. 
They fabricate a name for the book. They fabricate a date. They fabricate a page. Value number one, page number eight, year 1936. <laughs> this is how those people, they have no shame. They want to use the name of the dead man to make you believe that he said that. When the fact, there is no such a thing. And this, this, uh, uh, This statement is absolutely fabrication and false. However, according to the International Shaw Society treasurer Richard F. Dietrich, who had compiled a complete list of Shaw's works, the genuine Islam is bogus. 2. No such book exists. The origin of this hoax is an interview between Shah and Muslim propagandist Maulana Mohammed Abdul Alim Siddiqui published in a Muslim periodical in January 1936. It's a it's a propaganda. It's false. It's it's a, this is what Islam this is what Islam is about. But what really Bernard Shaw he said about Islam? What is found in his books is the following. Islam is very different, being ferociously intolerant. What I may call manifold monotheism becomes in the minds of very simple folk an absurdly polytheistic idolatry. Just as European peasants not only worship saints and the Virgin as gods, but will fight fanatically for their faith in the ugly little black doll who is the Virgin of their own church against the black doll of the next village, when the Arabs had run this sort of idolatry to such extremes, that, they did this without black dolls and worshipped any stone that looked funny, Muhammad rose up at the risk of his life and insulted the stones shockingly, declaring that there is only one God, Allah, the Glorious, the Great, and there was to be no nonsense about toleration. You accepted Allah or you had your throat cut by someone who did accept him and who went to paradise for having sent you to hell. All right, this is what Bernard Shaw, he said, regardless if we agree with him or not, I believe there's many mistakes and errors there in his quotation. But however, this is what Bernard Shaw, he said. You see, if he is Bernard Shaw, doesn't mean he know about Islam. I, you know, I can guarantee you that Bernard Shaw, he do not know one little tiny percent of what I know about Islam. So what if he's Bernard Shaw? But the story is not this. It's the story is they fabricate stories and they fabricate even books. It's not exist. And they say Bernard Shaw, he said in the book, it's called the genuine Islam. But then the genuine Islam cannot be found. And there's no such a book. And not only that, they say to you, it's a book. Value number one, page number eight, 1936. And where we can find this book? Even the Muslim don't have a copy of it. This is why I say Islam is religion of the scumbag. Scumbag prophet, scumbag followers, scumbag sheikh, you know, a cleric, scumbag mosque, scumbag media, scumbag, scumbag books. Everything in this religion is based on scumbags and lying. And if you believe in it, you are a victim of a scumbag. With this, I say thank you for watching my videos. For those who speak Swedish, my first book translated to Swedish will be out in 24 hours. You can get it on Amazon. And soon we will have the German book in a few days. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And don't forget to subscribe and to share the videos with your friends. And always there is a way to find me. You will find the link. And the link actually appear in my, my screen. Uh, 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 for batterion.com Christian Prince. And I have my Twitter, Christ is the, is the one. Uh, you see it for a Twitter in the screen. You can always contact me and feel free to ask for help or you can visit our Facebook. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. See you soon.